Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today I've got a pretty cool little solar panel camping table combo to check out, and we're going to be testing it out to see how well it performs. So if you're looking for a portable solar charging setup to keep small electronic devices like smartphones, radios, flashlights, or cameras topped up off-grid, and you like items that serve a dual purpose, this might be a good option to check out. This is a 24 watt panel and they're made from solar monocrystalline silicon and they're very efficient and have conversion rates that are very high and can quickly convert and output electricity under direct sunlight. The panels will also function in a wide temperature range from negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 158 degrees Fahrenheit so they will work pretty well in a variety of conditions. The surface of the panels are coated with a PE protective film which protects and makes the panels more durable. There's a handful of outputs including two standard USB type A's and there's also a display on the side and that will display the current voltage cycle. The USB ports are also protected by a silicone cover which is really nice because it will keep them safe from dust and water. The panel also has two small pockets on each side which is nice because it gives you a little bit of extra storage and if you flip the panel over there's another side with a waterproof and scratch resistant polyester material that's designed to be used as a table. It also comes with a collapsible aluminum base which supports the panel and it also comes with a few handy additions including a compass which can help you get your bearings and also a thermometer. The solar table unfolds and sets up really quickly and should only take you a few seconds and when you're ready to use the panel all you have to do is position the table so it receives the most amount of sunlight possible. Uncover the USB port, plug in a USB cable and connect it to the device that you want to charge. Now I'm going to do a small test of the panel's solar charging capability so you can get a better idea of how it performs. It's about 10.20 a.m. and at the moment the skies are blue and clear and I'm going to use this panel to charge my phone which is at exactly 40% battery life and see how long it takes. Now that it's plugged in, it's reading 5.18 volts and 1.09 amps, and it's really nice to have this info displayed in real time. 20 minutes later at 10.40 a.m., we are already at 48% charge, which is very impressive. 35 minutes later, I check back in, and we're at 62%, and some clouds are actually blocking the sun, and the output dropped down to about 0.73 amps, which did start to slow down the charging speed, and these clouds remained for the rest of the afternoon, and output remained at about 0.77 amps, until until I checked back in at about 1.38 p.m. and found that my phone had been fully charged. Under ideal conditions, the solar panel charges really quickly and it would probably only take about three hours to fully charge your phone, but even in the presence of some clouds, the panel is still effective. Overall, I think the design of the solar panel table is pretty interesting and not a bad option for those of you who need some basic solar charging capabilities. One thing I don't like about the setup is there's no consideration for adjusting the angle of the panel. So it could be angled towards the sun for maximum efficiency, but you could always put something under the legs or remove the solar panel from the legs and charge it that way. Let me know your thoughts on the setup in the comments below. And if you wanna pick one up and help support the channel, you can find a link down in the description.